what's up welcome to apex this is Nutan here and in this video we are going to check out two important aspects when it comes to Tizen operating system on Samsung Galaxy smartwatches the first aspect is to see how good are the default applications available on uh, Tizen OS and the second one is how good is the app store for this operating system we will not be considering any of the fitness tracking features in this video this is purely based on smart features available on this watch. Before we begin, let me tell you that the watch I am using here is 44mm crown silver, which is a Bluetooth version. Alright, now let's begin with the default applications available on this watch. The first one is messaging application. Obviously, this app lets you send and receive messages and it is fully functional. Since this watch is Bluetooth version, you must always have your phone on with you. Let's just take a quick look at how to send a message on this app. Typing content through voice commands is easy, but uh, it is quite difficult to type a message on the watch. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm sure most of us would prefer our phone to do this task. Replying to text is much easier though. You can send some quick responses available on the app. The next one is calling app. You can easily make call or receive call and it is quite intuitive. Having a LTE version makes sense to use these messaging and calling features when you are not carrying your phones. The only benefit you get is you don't have to take your phone out of your pocket to check the notifications. Now let's take a peek at few other basic applications available on Tizen OS. Email application. To use this app, you need to have it installed on your phone as well and your mails get synced automatically. You do have options to easily send some quick responses like you do it on your messaging app. Now when it comes to gallery and music application, you can sync all your albums from your phone. To do this, you just have to open Galaxy Wearable application on your phone and select add content to your watch. You can add up to 200 images and few music files until watch runs out of its memory. Find My Phone is the last default app on the list. This is quite a useful app if you tend to forget your phone around. The moment you hit Find My Phone, your phone starts ringing as if you are getting a call, thereby letting you know where you have left your phone. Alright, now we are in the second part of the video wherein we are going to take a look at the application store for Tizen OS. This is where things get a little annoying and the availability of good applications is definitely a bummer on this Tizen OS. Okay, before we get into this, let me tell you how you can install the applications. You can use Galaxy Store application on your phone or you can go to the same app on your watch as well from where you can download and install the applications. Let's head to the store on phone and check out the categories. When you scroll through, you will see too many applications available, but most of them are useless. I hardly found any good applications which I can use. There are few paid apps which I haven't tried yet. I think I will download them and review them in the next video. Let me just take you through a few applications which I have downloaded.
All right, so that's how good or how bad the application store is for Dyson OS. All in all, this operating system is a mixed bag. Even though the application store is a limitation, this operating system does offer a very intuitive interface and easy to use default applications. The animations are certainly cool. As far as fitness tracking is concerned, this watch does offer some of the best fitness tracking features, which we will be discussing in the upcoming video. So that's about it guys in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.